Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. Uh, let me know how does the video quality look for you guys watching live. Um, I This is the first stream I'm doing with the new computer. And so what I'm wanting to see is how well is everything working. And right now I'm actually getting a not receiving enough data. And my, um, my kilobit outputage is only at... Uh, 26.7 I should be a little bit higher than that for HD um, I think possibly I might have the stream settings uh, too low but I don't think I can actually change that while I am streaming um, and so I don't know let me give it a try uh, it says it will hopefully it doesn't crash Let's see what that does huh actually that did it let me do this just for fun. Huh. Well, let me know how that works. Um, I am actually I'm reporting now 4.7, um, which is more than I've ever actually output before. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, let me know how it is uh, in the comments down below. Uh, like I said, I'm still playing around with settings. Um, I might seem a little darker around here because I haven't shaved in like three or four days. So. You know, I was thinking about growing a full beard. What do y'all think? I look pretty scary with one of those. Um, but anyway, um, uh, let me know how things are working. Um, and I'm just going to make some few adjustments uh, down the road. Uh, just let me know if everything's looking good. We should be pushing HD video. Um, if you're on high enough bandwidth to support HD, we should be pushing HD video. Right now, I'm actually pushing another megabyte per second more than I used to. Probably because of the uh, how the streaming setup is. And uh, I'm just kind of curious as to see uh, what uh, what you guys are seeing. So again, this is the first time streaming on the new computer. And I think actually, uh, let me see if I still have the video here. I think actually I know why the video yesterday did not look as good as I was hoping it would. Uh, my guess is that um, the video was actually recorded in 720p, not 1080p. Uh, I think that was something that was from the recorder itself, and so when I put it into Caden Live to export it, um, that's kind of kind of what what happened. Uh, so with all that intro stuff out of the way, uh, today we're going to be just looking at some Windows applications on Linux, and I'm just going to play around. Now I was playing around with Zorn a little bit, and I cannot seem to get Play on Linux to work over there. I can get regular Wine over there, um, but uh, I can't really seem to get anything else running. Um, also guys, let me know how you like the new banners. They are slightly different. If you watch these videos and the other ones, these ones have more 3D elements, uh, FX. I've also, uh, put in nice new banners for things like support here, uh, which actually has the Amazon PayPal, uh, logos. I put in a nice shop banner, which I never had on the other computer before that went crashing down and a Patreon banner like that. So let me know how uh, everything's looking on that. Uh, and with that, let's jump on over to the comments, see what people are saying, and then we'll uh, jump on into this. And speaking of which, I should probably get my uh, my distro about ready to run here. Let's let's see what see what I can do with that. <laughs> All right, let's see. So Q and Fiend, mm, wine, yeah, and I'm celebrating not with wine because I don't drink. But hello, Jaron, how are you? Hey, it's me. Said the energy drink. Hey, oh, hey, it's me, says the energy drink. Greetings, Wesley Lewis, hello there. The boss, greetings, boss. World of Linux, hello. Okay, I think I finally decided on my favorite distro. So first, KDE Neon. Second, Kubuntu. Third, Linux Mint KDE Edition. Fourth is Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition, and the rest is okay, but weird. <laughs> Uh, what like elementary OS? All right. Uh, right now I'm stuck on Mint XFCE. Nothing wrong about being stuck on Mint XFCE. I still have not made the decision uh, what my backup computer is going to be. A lot of the reason is uh, the IC dock blew up in this, and so um, I need to get a new IC dock. And so I'm kind of stuck with the the uh, the hard drives being mounted directly inside the computer. Uh, but with that being said. Um, it appears as though if I pull a drive off, like technically would happen if you're doing an IC dock, it seems to remove the drive information from the BIOS and reattaching it is a royal pain in the petunias, possibly. I have three or four more tests I want to do, but I kind of wanted to wait until later because 
um, I don't really want to uh, want to mess with it before I'm, I'm done with my my big push. Uh, my big push, of course, is Wednesday through Saturday where I live stream nearly every day somewhere. So anyway, uh, like installing applications automatically, installing themes. It's a penguin. Hello, K0261. One zero, the red hat. My hat's silver, covered in foil. Uh, greetings, Robert Fitzpatrick. How's it going there? Okay, funny. I tried this a few hours ago just to see if uh, LaunchBox would work because I haven't tried it in Wine in a while, but it still doesn't work, most likely because of Net 4.7 framework. Uh, Bitblocks. Hello there, Carbon Programmer. Hello. Mouse pads are really nice. Yes, the mouse pads actually, and that's what surprised me about the quality. I was actually expecting probably subpar quality, but the quality is really good. The printing is nice. Um, but uh, I mean, the the quality of everything at the at the place where I my merchandise store is actually really good. So here's my coffee cup. I'm using my coffee cup now. This is my now my primary coffee cup. I still have the other travel mug I use as well. I do have five mouse pads I'm going to give away. I was going to think about giving them away last week, and then the computer blew up, and it just kind of got pushed on the back back burner. But I have five mouse pads over here, and they are going to be given away on this channel um, per, per, probably very soon. I just need to figure out exactly how I want to do that. Um, also got a new rug in the office uh, because I was worried about the chair messing up the carpet in here. So, All right, I found a nice rug that just... I, I just I just like it with all the rest of the decor in here. All right, Highland, greetings, sir. You are still a mod, Highland. Use the power. Use the power. Uh, Norris, greetings. Just switch to Linux and give me some tips. Um, first major tip is, um, of course, before switching to Linux, like if you still are dual booting things like that, figure out how to use what type of open source software on your Windows computer so you can get used to the software and you move over. For example, uh, most people, LibreOffice is going to replace what you do. Obviously, if you are required to use some elements of Microsoft Office for work, school, whatever, uh, that is a limitation for you. But uh, if it's not a specific limitation, if it's just this is what I've always used, why don't you always look to use something else? Uh, so start doing that. Um, also, uh, you know, just kind of stick with an, an easier to use distro, be a little bit safer with it, and slowly learn how to use the terminal. Watch some videos like Brian Lunduke has a lot of great terminal videos. Uh, hi, Linda. You still, no, you're not doing videos anymore. Um, I think Pizza does a lot of terminal stuff as well. Uh, Pizza, I love a nerd. So watch some of those videos. Just kind of get, slowly get used to the terminal because when you can learn how to do something in the terminal in Linux, you can oftentimes be more efficient. Um, so learn how to do things like that. Th those are kind of, it's kind of the, the early tips. And then, of course, just kind of play around with a little, uh, few different distros. If you have a computer beefy enough, play around with things in a virtual box. If not, USB keys can take Linux distros. Play around with things. Figure out what you like. Uh, look at different desktop environments. Realize desktop environments and distros are two different things. So just play around a little bit. See what you like. So this computer uh, is Linux Mint Cinnamon, which I use because it's the production environment I love. The computer that's behind my comment window is running Budgie right now, kind of as a test. Um, I like Budgie. I don't like Ubuntu Budgie. Um, I'll do a video about that maybe tomorrow or something. I'll do some videos about that. Um, but anyway, uh, that's just kind of the thing. It's just figure out what works for you. Ask yourself those questions about what you want and figure out how to do it. I'm on Windows 10 again, and I'm dual booting Windows 10 and Ubuntu 16. There you go. His friend Isaiah helped you out. That's very good. Very awesome. Keegan, how's it going there? Ordo Linux, greetings. Grant, hello there. Total OS today, looking at my wine now. I'd, it's better to drink it. <laughs> there you go. Daniel, hello there. Uh, wine never worked well for me. Yeah, it's, it's really dependent on the application. Um, uh-oh, Kitty's coming up. Hi, Kitty. I'm coming to say hi, peoples. Aww. Hello, everyone. Drink safely and intelligently and not illegally. Thank you. That's his message for the wine. <laughs> oh, you want up? All right, I'll, I'll clear. Just give me a second, Kitty. Give me a second, Kitty. I'm clearing your room. I'm clearing your room. There you go. Now you can sit down. All right, now I have a cat. All right, so Isaiah says, yes, grow a beard. Uh-uh. 
Greetings and salutations, Sky Bear, the bionic flying bear. Uh, okay, looks pretty good. You are overexposed, however. Yes, I do look overexposed. Let me see if there's something I can do about that. Oh, not properties. I need filters. Filters. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, color correction. Do. Whoa! Whoa! All right, uh, contrast. Yeah, there you go. There's overexposed. Okay, brightness. Drop that. Whoa! All right. I think I just need to adjust. See saturation. Okay. Let's stop playing. Find something that looks good. I think some of it might just be my light being a little bit too much. And whoa, I'm becoming very ghostly. All right. Um, yeah, that might be a little bit better. Um, I think some of it, for some reason, I think the camera might be working better over here and I might just need a better filter for my light. Because I mean, if you think that's overexposed, how about that? <laughs> that's how bright the thing is. Actually, that's not too bad if I just move that completely out of the way. It tends to correct itself a little bit. But I think what it is is I need to get a better filter over my light itself. But I think that looks a little bit better. So we'll run with that. Uh, how's the PC fans sound? Um, let's make sure they're all running. I did have issue with the one case fan as a three pin. Ready? I'm going to put the mic down there. In other words, you can't hear it. Uh, there's three fans, obviously, one in the CP or, uh, one, in, one in the PSU, one on the CPU, and one main case fan. That's all I'm running in there, and that actually works great, honestly. Um, it keeps things pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Does this thing have a CPU temp? I don't know. I'm not going to install something right now for, to test that. Um... And do please shave. All right, so I have I have one one vote for shave. I have one vote to grow a beard. I don't know. <laughs> Banners look good. Thank you, uh, Mitchell. How's it going down there in Phoenix? Can we have some of your weather? Like schools all across the state were closed today because we got like six inches of snow last night. How exciting! Uh, Kyrie Holmes, greetings, Tony. How's it going there? Um, so now a few people gave me comments about the power supply. If you know about the power supplies I'm using, some people said to use a different power supply. Has anybody actually built computers and can tell me if the power supply in there is bad and why? I went with it based on a recommendation, um, not necessarily based on price. Um, in fact, I probably... Uh, had I done a few more calculations, I definitely would not have gone with a 730 watt because my entire computer builds only like 200 watt. So I could have easily done with 450, 500. Um, here I am. Will you send me an angel? Angel, go. There you go. I sent you an angel. Greetings, Midnight Owl. First day was an absolute lag. Fast and switched kernels. It was fine after that. Awesome. Using Zorin. Awesome. Very cool. Or how the other day, if languages change the way a person thinks and processes information. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I remember that. All right, I think I'm going to hold the comments there so we can actually dive on into this. Actually, before I do that, I need to move my comment feed over here. And then I need to boot up Zorin. So we're going to be doing everything through the virtual box as we load that up. All right, so camera looks clear as glass. Very good. LibreOffice do almost the same thing. I mean, I think, I, I personally, I like LibreOffice better. I'm, I mean, I'm an author and I write. On LibreOffice, one of the things that I do. Um, have a one. Pizza, pizza. Greetings, pizza. How's it going there? Visual Studio giving you errors. That's not cool. Teacher found an article about how people speak different languages are able to process more information. Yes, if you can speak multiple languages, it generally helps with processing information better. 
I'm liking deep in as as a DD comes across, across our greetings social media warrior I am well just streamed and I was complaining about a glitch in the game when all the skins were pitch black and came to the room ranted about racism one was off topic Ugh. that's not cool man we don't need to be troubling people's streams especially it's like I'm here talking about tech racism 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 it's like dude go away <laughs> Here, here, go take the stick. Fetch. <laughs> mm, wouldn't display on my Apple display end up installing NVIDIA PPAs or it's a proprietary driver at work? There you go. Uh, 18.3 is a solid release. Yeah, this actually, my camera saying now looks a little dark, but it's actually not too bad. All right. Keep an eye on getting ads from the CIA saying they are hiring people. <laughs> there you go. Surprise the T420 works with a display with Linux light out of the box, though. Okay. How enjoys learning other languages and cultures? As far as I know, I'm subscribed to certain linguistics channel. Thank you, social media. I'm looking great. I just do need to shave, though. <laughs> Uh, 730 is just overkill. Isn't bad just overkill? Yeah, it, it is. It is. But it does open up the possibility if I want to put other cards, other chips, other things in there. If I want to boost up the graphics, I'm not sure why I would. It's not like I'm a gamer or anything. So, um, you know, what I'm using the computer for, it seems to work just fine. Built computers and your power supply is fine. Just a bit overkill. Yeah, some people were saying the brand. They didn't like the brand. Playing Send Me an Angel. Oh, <laughs> cool. All right, so I got Zorin booted up over here. Let me see if I got my desktop view. There we are. So we got Zorin built up over here. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to play around on Wine. I was testing around a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to see if we can get things running. So the three applications I'm going to look at is one that I know works, and that's Warcraft 3. Uh, this is one that I use, actually, when I'm traveling... Um, up to a friend's house, um, I actually um, bring my Linux computer and we get on and play a lot of Warcraft together. Uh, the only problem I have encountered with it is that um, you can do one network game and then I need to shut the program down and reboot it if I am hosting. If someone else is hosting, no problem either way. The other application is Worms 2. Um, so if you remember the old Worms franchise, awesome video game where you're a team of worms with a bunch of big arsenal and you're running around blowing other people up. This one will work on Wine, but it has problems with HD monitors. And I think I actually have a fix for that. And the third application I'm gonna try is QuickBooks. One of the only Windows applications I still would really like to work and it simply does not work under Wine last time I tried it, which was a couple years ago. So we're going to see if Wine 3.0 works. Now, we have Wine installed in here, and we have Play on Linux installed on here. And I could not get things working in Play on Linux on Zorin today. I could get things uh, working with... Um, I could get things working with uh, with Wine regular. At least, I mean, I didn't try installing stuff, but I was actually able to get stuff, uh, get disks to read and, and applications to run. Now I'm going to be running through the CD-ROM down here. So I have my virtual box set up. Why don't I just go ahead and do this? Um, I have my virtual box set up in my settings so that on my storage. Um, my disk drive is pulling directly from my CD-ROM. So that's kind of how I have my, my system set up here. Um, and that's kind of where we are going to be going. So uh, first thing is let's go ahead and pull up information. Let's see what we have in the way of wine. I think there's an entire thing down here for wine. So we have the browse the CD drive. Um, so of course, here's your program files. Uh, uh, in program x86, of course, I went to those backwards. Um, we also have configure Wine, play on Linux, uninstall Wine software, and Wine tricks. Um, now, one of my main production computers where I actually have Wine running to run that one game, I'm kind of just using basic Wine. I should actually be using 
Uh, I should be using uh, Play on Linux because it keeps things quite a bit safer. So here we can select one prefix, enable silent install, show broken apps, um, benchmarks, there's install games, install benchmarks, install apps, things like that. So that's what uh, Wine Tricks will do. First, let's go ahead and start with Play on Linux um, because Play on Linux is generally a better way to use Wine applications because what it allows you to do is create a series of boxes that are different from each other and you'll find that some games and applications will work better with different versions of Wine and one of the good things about it is you can actually uh, set what version of Wine the system is running so I gotta remember exactly where I think it's under Wine configure Wine now you have system which on this is uh, 3.0 uh, no, that's not it. Uh, I gotta remember where it is, and if you know where it is right off the top, you're sitting there laughing at me there. Oh, there you go, Wine version. So you see it says System, which is 3.0. If you click on the checkbox over here, you actually have the ability to install a variety of different Wine versions. So if there is a very specific Wine version that you know you need for a specific application, Play on Linux allows you to create a Wine box specific to that individual type. So you can pick a x86, which would be a 32-bit, and an AMD64, uh, which would be a 64-bit uh, application. Um, and I think I, I, QuickBooks, I thought, was 64, but I don't know for sure. I know everything else is going to run on 32. Um, and... So if we go to install an application, the first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and start with the application that I know is going to work. So let's go ahead and start this out with something nice. So I'm going to grab my Warcraft CD-ROM here out of my box, and we're just going to go ahead and slip this guy into the CD tray. Hopefully I don't knock out any cameras as I do that. And we're not going to install both of them. We're just going to install the first one, the Reign of Chaos CD. I should get a CD notification in a second once that's popped in there. Okay, so you'll see Warcraft 3, that now showed up on the desktop. So now what I'm going to do is on Play on Linux, I'm going to install a program. So one of the good things with Play on Linux is that there are a variety of different settings already preset. All right, and uh, the color coding, I'm not sure exactly what the color coding is. Some of it boils down to it's just free or do you actually need an installation CD? And since I don't play a lot of video games, I don't really know. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the list. I could actually search for it as, uh, as well. Uh, but here you go, Warcraft, uh, so Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. That's what I want to install. Um, so selecting this box is actually going to uh, already create a box configuration that runs best for this. We get a couple things popping up here, um, just some installation things. I'm just going to go ahead and not, don't remind me anymore. There are two of them. And hopefully that should boot something up. Again, I not, was not able to successfully get anything running on Play on Linux today. Okay, so Wizard will help you installing this. Installation provide, program provided by Quentin. Okay. Uh, so here we're going to use CD-ROMs, push next. And it is in the drive already, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Where is your CD-ROM mounted? Warcraft 3. Version is out of date. Yes, I'm well aware of that. We are going to worry about updating later. <laughs> um, so now it dis detects that 1.9.4 is the best version of Wine according to the Play on Linux database. So it's actually creating the entire Wine box based on the system settings that people seem to think work the best. Now we're getting some configuration here. Do not find a gecko package which is needed to embed HTML. So yes, we're going to click yes to install it. It's going to automatically install the gecko package. Get gecko. <laughs> is that gecko or I don't know. Anyway. Well, that's going. Let's see. 
Glad the computer's working. Yeah, so am I. It cost me too much money, though. It's like every bit of profit. I was just so happy. I was just, you know, going to make a little bit extra money this month, and then the computer blows up, and all of it kind of went and died. All right. Um, so here I'm going to install Warcraft 3. Hopefully it works. Here's my, we agree, we agree, and CD key. You guys can't see my CD key as I type it in. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, do that, and then we'll be back. Hey, kitty, would you mind meowing me my proper CD key? Kitty, off my keyboard. That's all I need is the cat to enter bad digits. Okay, so that's uh, program files Warcraft 3, sounds good, and now it's going to take a little bit of time to install, but I don't know, let's see how long it takes to install. Uh, the computer itself, uh, I've given this virtual box, I think, four processing cores out of like 16. Of course, it has to copy files from its DVD-ROM, so that's probably my limiting factor. Uh going on Linux number one. Alright. The land of the morning star. It's playing War Warcraft Battle Royale. Let the beard grow. I don't know. Uh, grow a Gandalf beard. Oh boy. Highly recommend QuickBooks. Yeah, I use I use QuickBooks for one of my businesses. I use GNU Cash for the other. I gotta say, I like QuickBooks a lot better, but even QuickBooks is now moving to this online only model. It's like, no, I'm not putting my business books on the internet. Thank you very little. Um, is there an application where you can keep track of uh, PSI voltage? I'm guessing PSU voltage. Um, I don't know. That would be a good question. I assume it's out there. For some STL videos to watch and find out you're live. Yeah! Greetings, two cats yelling. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> uh, I can't spell. I can't either. You're When you write I can't spell, you're supposed to write it S-P-E-E-L. Come on, man. You can't spell. Uh, learn today that you can install and run Elder Scrolls Online through Wine again. Couldn't for a time. They started only supporting DX11. Yes. Yes. The latest one. Look at that thing go. Look at it go. <laughs> uh, Omar says, hello, kitty. Hello, Omar. He's like, would you just leave me alone now? All right. This caught by the she meant ESL. Sorry, I didn't see anything. Oh, Kitty hit Control Alt End. No. See, it's trying to enter the product key. Yes. Talking equals confirmed using Windows. What? S-W-T-O-R to work on Linux. Uh, what is S-W-T-O-R? I mean, I have no clue about half of the stuff these days anymore, you know. Uh, sure, let's create a desktop shortcut. Why not? Uh, no, we're not going to register. Let's play Warcraft. Let's see if I can play a game or not without messing everything up. Yes, I know the drive is in there. Um, this is something that you occasionally get. Um, let's see, how much memory does your graphics board have? That? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, no. Actually, I have to tell it 256 because that's how much memory 
uh, I have supplied the graphics through VirtualBox. Let's go click run again. Let's see if I can actually get it to run. The, there's an update to Warcraft that will allow you to play it without the CD drive, but I don't think I want to try and get the uh, get updates running. I don't know, or should I? Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can find an update for it. All right. Let's do Warcraft three. Whoa, Warcraft three. Uh, R O C update. Uh, we're going to save that. Okay, that's probably going to save to my um, downloads folder, is my guess. Downloads, so there it is. So now inside of this box, we are going to install a program, non listed. Updated an existing Reign of Chaos. Next, probably 32 bit. Select another file. Browse, documents. Oh, whoops, downloads. Next. Can you hear this cat? <laughs> this is one of those problems that you tend to have on play on Linux so sometimes it just uh, let's see you next. Yeah, I was not able to install that patch. We're going to try it again. See, it's uh, it's giving me that issue there. Let me try installing program again. This is the type of problem I've always had on Play on Linux. So if I were to install this just regular on Wine, it would probably install for me without any real issue. So once again, we're going to try that. Um, next. Next. Select another file, browse, downloads. Next. Let's see if I can get more information. Oh, there's a log file it dropped. Let's go have a look at the log. Unable to find a file required for patching. Really? I can't find the file strike? Okay. Let's try finding an earlier patch. I bet that that might be the case. I might need to patch, um, uh, let's see. You might need to go back and upload the, upload a prior patch first. Okay, so English update any to 1.21b. So let's grab this one. Uh, no, that's not going to work. All right, let's just let's see if we can find. Let's go back to battle net. More games. Warcraft 3, support, can we help you with, you can help me with patches.
that's not what I need. All right, so what I actually need is I need to go in and find, uh, to manually patch the game, um, I could probably spend half hour hunting down the patch. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to assume that this has now gotten to the point to where it's simply going to work. Um, but I need to do a progressive patch from the original CD up to the 1.21. That's the patch I can't find. And then from there, I can progressively update to the current versions. So uh, what else we're going to try, though? Let me, um, uh, let's go ahead and... make a new shortcut from the virtual drive uh, so the new shortcut from the virtual drive is going to allow me to go in create a a um, application here and uh, uh, basically find something so here it finds a list list of everything that's working I don't think you need the CD for the world editor so let me try that so it's creating that Okay, next. Okay, so now we're going to run World Editor. Let's see if World Editor loads. Now oh, that does need the disk as well. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to hunt around for that particular patch. If somebody wants to find it and shoot me a link, I'll grab it and download it uh, and find it. But we're not going to attempt to, we're not going to spend another 20, 30 minutes trying to find a patch. I am pretty confident that the game at that point would work. If this were a production system, then I would absolutely take the time to go patch it. Um, some of these old classic games, I actually have the patches in my archives. Um... I know, like, I have a game, Dark Rain, which is kind of fun, kind of like Warcraft in the future. Um, and uh, that one there was, uh, you had to have patches to work it right. And I actually have the patches in my archive specifically for it. All right, so the next one we're going to try is we're going to try that Worms 2. Um, so this one here... Uh, now, this one here... The Worms CD is actually split down into an audio CD and a data part of the CD, and that seems to confuse the system. So what I actually need to do is um, pull up the files, and you need to unmount the audio portion of the disk first. So you'll see there it just popped up and said, oh, there's an audio disk. So I actually have to unmount that. And then what it was doing for me is eventually was remounting the data portion. So there you go. So now it remounted the data portion. This is where my setups happen to be. So now we're going to, uh, oh, not run. I didn't want to run it. I wanted to hit install a, a program. <laughs> we're going to get an error pop up there somewhere. All right. So here we're going to see if there is a worms thing in here. There might be worms reloaded. So I don't see one. So in this case, we would actually have to create the application itself. Um, uh, we could try Worms Reloaded, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to hit the uh, new application. So now the downside of this is we have to kind of figure out uh, what we're going to do. We can either install this in the same installation file as uh, Warcraft, or we can kind of give it its own. For the purpose of cleansiness, um, I'm just going to go ahead and try that version. Actually, no, we're going to try a new one. We're going to try it under the new version. Uh, so this box I'm going to call Worms. And we're just going to use the current system, 32-bit. We're going to create the drive. Now, at this point, I was getting errors, and I couldn't get it running through Play on Linux. I could get everything running on 
just on regular wine. So here, that's what I want. So let's see if it actually works this time. Ooh, I even got sound that time. Give me sound. So here, let's go ahead and try to install it. Huh, it actually seems like this part was working. What was not working for me before, uh, yeah, look at this. It's like 22 kilohertz sound is probably a lot of data. So <laughs> it gives you the option. That's hilarious. Um, let's look at this. Sure. Sure. So it actually seems like it's installing. I had didn't get this far earlier today. All right, let's see. If old Battle I would support Linux. Yeah, if anyone actually has a copy of Warcraft 3 and want to play online sometime, let me know. Um, I was a geek and I played some really fascinating maps and we started creating our own fascinating characters. We can probably hook it up. All right, uh, I'm trying to make it work for years. Don't work on my machine. No one else can help me. I've read Wine HQ up and down. Use Solus Budgie by chance. Having trouble getting the updates to work. Downloads an arbitrary number of files, hangs, and goes back up. Uh, I've had issues on it myself. I am going to try it again, though. Um, probably soon. One problem I know gave Solus an issue. Oh, it's done and already. Things a little fast. One thing that gave Solus some issues is um, <laughs> the cat's like, what is that sound? There's a worm talking to me. Um, was um, uh, what was I saying there? Let's see. Oh, if you are if you run Solus encrypted, that seemed to break some things. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and try and play this. Now, what was happening before is Worms doesn't know how to handle an HD monitor and give me, would give me all sorts of errors. So I have no idea what's going to happen, but we're going to go ahead and click the button. And I still have this error here that says it crashed, but I don't care. All right. So I can hear that the game is in theory playing, but I can't see any of it. Can you guys hear that too? I think you can. All right. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So it's apparently playing in the background somewhere, but I can't seem to access it. And when that's done, then... All right, we're going to turn you guys down. <laughs> turn down the worm. <laughs> when that's done, it might actually pop up with a screen that I can play on, but I don't know. This is the same behavior I've encountered with worms in the past. We're just going to turn that way down. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Also can't seem to get FFmpeg to compile properly, so OBS uh, will use it. Still new Linux going through the growing pains. Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Like, Solace is still a little new. It's come really far, though. Oh, install Warpatch with Play on Linux. Okay, I'll look into that. Okay, this is kind of funny. I'm running this virtual box with a game, two HD cameras, two monitors. I'm at 17% CPU use. <laughs> this new processor is really good. I like it. <laughs> oh, oops. Tried something, yeah. Hey, there we go. Now it shows up with this screen. Um, so now uh, let's just go ahead and uh, I think I need to create teams first, right? 
Um, of course, if you have a copy of Worms um, and you do Team 17 Micro Pros as your team name, you unlock all of your um, you unlock all of the weapon schemes. Let's go ahead and do um, let's do Rednecks because I'm in Pennsylvania, and we're going to just go ahead and. All right, um, so we're just going to go ahead and play, and again, I'm probably going to get the same error where it's kind of going to play in the background, and I can't seem to access it. Let's see what happens, though. Let's give it a second, see what it does. Try another wine version. Yeah, so Worms is kind of stuck at this point. Uh, force quit. So that was kind of the problem I've always had on uh, on that. Let's go ahead and um, let's look at settings. Up oh, configure. Make a new shortcut from this drive. So we're going to go ahead and grab the worms. I think I might have a solution for this one. Um, I ran into the same problem. I was actually uh, trying out a... I think that's it, right? So what we're doing there with the shortcut is that's what's going to put the shortcut in your main play on Linux uh, dispatch over here. So that's what, what we're getting here. Um, and it's also putting it on the desktop. Um, so then at this point, what we're going to, what I'm going to try and do is change the screen resolution. So if I come over here, let's see, we're done with that. Um, let's do configure wine. Let's just do 600 by 800. See if that works. It says Worms 2 has crashed. It is also distinctly possible that that is not the actual file uh, to actually play the game. Hold on, I'm over here already. General, make new shortcut. Let me look at the things again. There's actually, this was actually a, a weirdly done program and that I think that the, um, the application was different. Let's see. New YouTube is so slow, I keep accidentally deleting old comments. Can you unmod me? Yes. You are removed from moderator. Okay, I think it's front end is actually the thing I need to need to do to load the game. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, next. Hey, there it is. Okay, so now we're in a virtual desktop window. This might actually work. So let's go ahead and give this a try now. Maybe not. So this is the application I could never quite get working right. 
The way I've actually played it is I've actually just created a uh, box with Windows 98 and I installed it on that. You know, which works probably better, honestly. Create a Windows 98 virtual box, install any of the old applications that you need running. That works fine. So you'll see here that even, you know, even here, Worms does not seem to be working quite right. Um, even emulating. I was thinking that might work. There's another application. Um, there's an old, extremely lame uh, Christian video game out there. Their marketing strategy was to send out demo copies to youth groups around the country, which is probably a whole lot cheaper than most other marketing methods. And allowed you to play a couple things. Well, me and a co-host installed it on Wine the other day just to kind of laugh at it quite a bit. It was a horrible game. It's the Left Behind video game. Um, I mean, you can take neutral units and witness to them and turn them into good Christians and stuff. And then the evil musicians would come along and convert them back to neutral people. So, so yeah, it looks like uh, looks like that's not working either. So, oops. Sorry, Mr. Mr. Worms. I think Mr. Worms does not work. All right, let's go back though. Uh, somebody suggested to install a uh, install the patch for Warcraft. So let's go ahead and install an application. Let's see. Can I do? Is there patch? Yes, there's patches over here. Okay, Warcraft 3 patch. I think this is actually what I did before to get it working right. Uh, so we are going to install the patch. Download automatically, English. Huh. Probably a good call on that one. Oh. Spotty Sylvia, thank you. Read what I said, Spotty Sylvia. Uh... You can install it using Plan Linux. Yes, uh, thank you. Yeah, I think that that's what's said. So let's go ahead and try this now. Hopefully with that patch installed, I shouldn't need the CD any longer. No, it still wants the disk. <laughs> huh, okay. Maybe though it installed it on the wrong machine. That's also possible. Uh, let me do, let me verify the machine I was on. Let's see. Let's try that one. That kind of wants a CD-ROM. I'm just gonna try out putting the CD-ROM back in there. Give that a second for it to find it and catch it up. So installing applications in a terminal like LibreOffice is not the current version. Yeah, it, it kind of depends on your distro, a variety of different things. Unable to find the CD-ROM. Let me. 
All right, I, I think I have to refresh the CD-ROM there. Terminate. Okay, kick that out. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna try that again. Okay, patches, let me get that underneath there. Okay, Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, install. The problem that I'm seeing with this is that it's not, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me try this. I'm just gonna try the one that I've already previously downloaded as well. Next. See, that looks like it wants to, um, eh, let's try it. I don't know. This is, okay, so if you're watching this, you're like, what's going on here? I think the biggest challenge, like that one there, I think is because it's downloading the wrong thing. So we're going to try... Let's let that go for a minute. I, I, I think I just need the earlier patch and downloading the patch from Play on Linux. No, oh, that wants the CD, I think. Or is it gonna work this time? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know what, there's one more thing it could be also. That should be... That should find it there. Let's see. The, okay, here's the problem with running the patches. It seems to want to install that in its own different box, and that's why it's not working quite right. I can't seem to download it into its own specific system. Um, so if I click on the configure here, um, let's see, I have this one, I have this one. Eh, it does seem to be, I don't know. I don't know. what For whatever reason, the patch is not... The patch is not wanting to install correctly. And we'll try that one more time over here. Three. That's the one that wants, let's try this one. Two, six, A. Install that. Oh, I can't go back. Download patch automatically, English. Just not going to find the CD again. Yeah, um, the way the way I need to uh, fix this is I have to manually find the patch and manually apply the correct patch. Um, that seems to be the issue. It's not even a, uh, it, the, although it says it successfully installs. It's for whatever reason not. If there's any other ideas? Let me know what you think.
Yeah, it is possible to run Worms on Linux. I have actually gotten it to work before. Um, it doesn't work quite as well. Generally, the best way to run that one is to install a VirtualBox on like Windows 98 or XP or whatever VirtualBox you can get and install it on that, honestly. Um, let's see, current Ubuntu and runs, yes. Yeah, thank you, Spotty Sylvia, appreciate the super chat. You're being on the phone calls with no graceful exit. <laughs> Just to find some plate or glass or something you don't really like, drop on the floor and go, oh, I gotta go. I dropped the glass. I gotta clean it up, you know? <laughs> oh, up in New York. Awesome. Very cool. Is this a good distro? Just download it. Zorin? Um... Zorn's, there's parts I really like about it. There's parts that I'm not a huge fan of, um, but uh, it's it's not bad. It's it's pretty good. Don't think I'm paying attention to chat. Well, I mean, just a little bit. The thing is that the chat has to be on a different window when I'm full uh, full box in a virtual machine. So um, let's see. Dedicated XP box so you can properly play and stream classic games. Nice. Uh, no, I did, I've done some videos on Wine before. Yeah, the, the, bo the window buttons don't work quite right. Yeah. Let's run Warcraft through Wine. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's probably how you can get it to run better. Um, so Warcraft is in there, so it, the CD's in here. Let's go ahead and install it directly on Wine without going through Play on Linux. Um, that's not what I wanted to do, though. I didn't want to play that. I wanted to double-click on this one. So if I go over here and I hit my Install button, this is going to install it directly with Wine without Play on Linux. I bet this will actually work better. So while Play on Linux does have some advantages, it also has some major disadvantages. Um, however, this one's not exactly running the install properly. Try running the auto autoplay, see if that runs or not. Yeah, I can't seem to get it to run. Uh... Run on this without play on Linux either. It's very possible they don't have uh, some library set up. Here's a problem with Ubuntu Budgie. The thing keeps on eventually just shutting down on itself. It's going to go ahead and reboot. I think. Oh well. So I'd so so far I'd say that uh, the success rate so far we are 0 for 2. I'm pretty sure my third one is also going to be highly unsuccessful. I'm not even sure I want to attempt to try it. Hello Ubuntu, are you restarting? What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, the Ubuntu computer just keeps on restarting itself every now and again. Uh, let's see. To mount the CD drive on, uh, on Wine, you shouldn't have to. <clears throat> Let me try it through Wine Tricks too. So we're going to get rid of play on Linux.
Ja. It is very possible that the default of this does not have all of the components on wine. And if that's the case, then it may not work, run quite right. What's the uh, install for wine? I thought it was just wine. Hmm, no idea. All right. So yeah, I'm not able to get uh, not able to get Warcraft working, not able to get Worms working. All right. So what's your take-home message from this? Um, it is possible. Um, I'm thinking part of it is they may have crippled the wine installation in preference over play on Linux which as you can see, sometimes is working, sometimes is not. I have a very limited amount of things. Like I could probably dig through my closet and find a few other games that would work without any real issue. Um, that's a, a distinct possibility. Um, but with that being said, um, what the, what the take home message is here is that Linux distros that are coming out and saying, you can run your Windows programs here is a little bit of a dishonor to the community because they don't all work well. Uh, they don't all work, period. They don't all work well. Uh, and oftentimes you have to fight with them. Like, if I really needed to get Warcraft running on Zorin, trust me, it'd be running. <laughs> I have it running on a few other Linux distros already with zero problems at all. This one, I think a lot of it is I have to pat, track down the patch manually. Um, and the patch that I was able to find is too new of a patch. I need to grab the older patch that goes to the newer patch. Something I would take the time to do if, if I were actually running this to, to run it. Um, that being said, I think it is a disservice when we try and say that our Linux uh, can run Windows programs because we've installed Wine. And unfortunately, a lot of distros are kind of guilty of saying that, trying to woo people from Windows over to Linux. And I just don't think that that's, uh, that's quite, quite uh, the integrity you need. Now, for sure, there are a ton of Windows applications that do run on, on Linux under Wine, including Warcraft. And I know I can get Worms to work. It's a little bit of a finagling. Generally, what you need to do is um, cut the screen resolution for your main system down. What what gets in the way of worms isn't uh, is not Linux and it doesn't anything else. It's actually the screen resolution. And I've tested that by installing Worms natively on Windows 8 with an HD monitor. It doesn't run there either. But if I cut the screen resolution down to 768 or whatever it is. Um, it actually runs fine. So that's kind of part of the problem here. I have such a limited sample of things because I'm just not a gamer. Um, and I could try installing, like, I have an old um, Microsoft Office 95 I could try installing, which might actually work. Um, so, in fact, let me just go ahead and double check that, see what that would do. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and get caught up a little on the chat, I think. Let's see. Mount the CD. No, you shouldn't have to mount the CD on ROM. It should automatically auto mount, and as long as you can see the EXE file system, that's what makes Wine dangerous to have on a Linux computer is that it can run any EXE directly on Linux. So as long as it's auto mounting the CD drive, which it is, then uh, that's taking care of itself. The plan Linux is not keeping up with the latest versions of Wine. Having wine when using wine might help. It might. <laughs> That's this <a> button do. <laughs> might stumble upon it. <clears throat> yes, you can make it look like a, a Windows or Mac or, or other things as well. Um, and actually, if you buy the if you buy the ultimate, um, 
I'm gonna look at Office 95. If you buy the ultimate version, it comes with all those themes pre-built. Um, uh, AppDB, let's go to the AppDB. Um, Apparently, actually, the installer for Office 95 doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, let's see. Feels better about myself. I've had the exact same issues he's having. It's prevented me from installing a number of games. Hasn't prevented me. Created complications. I was neither educated nor motivated enough to overcome. Um, yep. Yeah, and that's and that's the downside of wine is it's just it's a little too complicated. It really is a little too complicated at times. Um, it's doable. I mean, the places where I've wanted to run it, it's doable. And you know, like I play Warcraft online with some people, so I make take the time to get that running, and it is running on a few Linux distros that I have. Um, I mean, the other day I downloaded a Windows game and got it installed and working perfectly fine. We didn't have audio, but oh well. Um, so it's not overly complicated. I know Worms was going to give me a problem. Warcraft, I usually am able to get working. It's just a matter of I can't find that particular patch. <laughs> that's that's kind of the, the issue with that. Uh, let me look again real quick. Um, see if I can find it real quick. Still XP or 98 SE. Yep. Two tops, yeah. Uh, should do, I guess, is configure wine, go on the drive, select one CD-ROM, advance, then probably boot Windows. <laughs> Run from the prompt? Okay, I can try that. If you've been using Windows for years, Zorn is the best Linux just to start with. Well, it depends on the application stuff you need, I would guess. But yeah, it's it's not bad, honestly. I like Zorin a lot better than I like most other ones. Okay, terminal. Well, I'm not installing Frozen Throne, too. That could be another complication, is that I'm just doing the... Um, I'm just doing the Reign of Chaos because I'm not installing two things just to throw this away tomorrow, <laughs> you know. Let me go here. No, that's just giving me a download. That's a Russian version. Not to get too hasty. No, get rid of that too. There we are. Games, more games. Oh wait, hold on, let me try downloads. I didn't go to downloads before. Let's see if there's just a quick spot for patches. You're a fan of StarCraft and Brood War. Those games run stock and wine. Yeah, um, the, I had Star, um, I had it before, but, uh, I actually don't have, uh, 
I actually don't have it anymore. I'm not sure. I, I think the problem with it is that I had, I had issues with, um, I had issues with the fact that Zerg was too overpowered in that. <laughs> so it was like, I don't care anymore. All right, download now, Warcraft 3. No, I don't want that. You'd think they would find it easier to find the online patches for the games, but apparently they don't. Advanced Linux users don't like Zorn because they don't need any kind of Windows look and feel anymore. Yeah, that's the good thing is you get off to the point to where you're just like, you know. Temple OS. I think, I think Temple OS, somebody recommended I look at it. Hello, Anna Rita. How are you? <sighs> Apparently, you actually now have to log into Blizzard to get patches. That seems to be the problem. Because Blizzard has lost their ever-loving mind, has become the same uh, uh, abhorrent crap that is EA and all of the other gaming companies out there, which is a good reason I don't game. It's like, okay, I have a legal copy of the game. No, you're not getting my login information. Give me the patches, you know? So I'm going to have to go on the internet at large to find the patches. Okay. Well, I found one. Let's see if it works. Oh, wrong button. No. Okay, we're going to install a non-listed program. Update an existing... Show virtual drives, Warcraft 3. Well, it didn't like that. Let's try that one more different method here. Non-listed. Doesn't like that either. But I have one more thing I want to check. Hail Mary Pass. Hmm. 
Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty much thinking that I'm not going to be able to get that working at this point in time, not without doing quite a bit of research. So I'm going to have to track down what the, that patch is and save it in my archives so I don't have to fight with this again. Uh, getting narcolepsy watching this. <laughs> Yeah, Martin, I know a lot about Linux and Windows and Mac and a lot of other stuff, actually. To run the game without the CD, you actually need a crack. No, you don't. Warcraft fixes itself in an updated patch. The problem is the game won't run in the CD because Play on Linux doesn't know how to find it. Uh, which is the exact problem I've encountered before. Use one play on Linux, but right now I just use Steam. Yep, yep, that seems to be better. And states that there are programs that won't run as well and smoothly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've lost more stuff. How do I like Zorn OS? Uh, not my favorite. Software am I using to record and share my screen? Right now I'm using OBS. I use OBS for more advanced stuff or need to jump back and forth. I use Simple Screen Recorder for something simple. Uh, could be a conflict running virtual machine. It's possible. It is very possible the conflict is running virtual machine. Another fix that I could do on it is uh, I could actually make an ISO image copy of the CD. I think that's actually how I got Worms to work properly. Um, because it's a lot easier for it to find a file than it is to find a drive being passed through the virtual box. I actually think that might be how I did it before. Trade Wars 2002. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to be done done messing around with this one for now. I'm going to get back to work. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think what I need to do is either track down the drive, try it not in a virtual drive, things like that. Um, this one here, I remember, I remember it being a little bit of a pain at some of these, uh, some of these cases. But the difference is, is Blizzard has really been doing a lot of negative stuff, what I view as negative anti-consumer stuff. And you know, it's like you could download the patch if you register and log in here. It's like no, I'm not registering and logging in here because I don't need yet another company with registration and login information. Make your patches available. It's a game that's like 20 years old. Make your patches available online uh, so we can find them. Um, and then, you know, at that point in time, um, uh, I should be able to, I mean, I don't know why it's not working the second time around. Um, it, it really should be, but uh, with that second, with that secondary patch, but, I don't know. It's uh, it's just not not working the way I was anticipating. But oh well. What's the best resource to learn all about Linux and its inner workings? Oh, I don't. I mean, I don't even know really. Um. Just get in into the Linux and experiment with it a little bit, and realize that you know not everything is is gonna go right. Um.
course, I'm 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 still I'm still wanting to do. I'm still wanting to experiment with some of this stuff. It drives me crazy when I can't get some of this stuff working. So, um, there's one or two other things. Let me see. Reboot, registry, task manager. Uh, open directory. Uh, let me try this. I'm going to try. There's one more thing to try, and that's run an exe file in this virtual drive. We're going to try that. That's that one, which not sure that one's going to work, but we're going to give that a try. That's the one that can't find that file. Let me see if there's uh, if that patch I downloaded has an exe file to it. Downloads. Ah, da, da, da. How about extracting the file? <laughs> Kitty, I'm a moron. Booyah. Let's try extracting files. That would be good, right? Extracting files. Warcraft! Warcraft! <laughs> okay, now that we got that version, we're going to attempt to pat run the other patch, which is this one. Nope. Doesn't like that patch, but that's actually okay. I'm all right with that with that one not working because now, uh, of course, let's close this. Um, now we can actually boot on and, and do it. <clears throat> Ooh, I even have audio. Let me turn it up for you guys. Okay, we're gonna redo some video settings. One of the things I'm getting right now is the mouse is slow as bejeebers. So like, it's not like slow, slow. So like increasing the mouse scroll doesn't fix it. It's laggy. So that would actually make this difficult to play because the mouse is very laggy. You can kind of see how laggy it is. Um, that is not my general experience with with this. So maybe what I might need to do is just figure it out. Now that I could probably easily blame on the virtual box issues and things like that. But uh, regardless, that actually is, is working now. Total loss today is in the house. Actually, he's been in the house. I'm not sure. He's If you're still drinking wine, though, you're probably on the floor. Did you just crawl back into the chair? <laughs> 81 bad sectors means replace your hard drive ASAP. Lutra simulators next time. Install components with a certain game or program. Yep. Uh, well. I think we're gonna go wrap this guy up with a kitty, right? You want some kitty treats? Yeah, yeah, you do, huh? All right, let's go ahead and uh, drop on back down, down to here. We're gonna get ready to uh, to feed the kitty. Um, I need my kitty cam uh, over here. And feed 
the kitty. I have a screen now called Feed the Kitty. There we go. Here, here, kitty. Right here, right here, buddy. Oh wait, wait. Let me do this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Close that. Well, okay. Now I, I feel like that's finally a, a little bit of a success. We're gonna power off that virtual box there. Mm -hmm. We're move that monitor out of the way. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. The kitty's happy. The kitty's happy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. And another one. Let's go for this camera over here. Aww. And should we do it? Let's 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 do a, a close up. Oh, where are you, kitty? Oh yeah. Are they finger looking good? Yeah, their finger looking good. Are they? <laughs> yes. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Here we go, Clark Kitty. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. We're going to do a last call for comments. And, of course, uh, on our last call for comments, we'll just kind of wrap up with, uh, once again, if you want to help support the channel, you can check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support. There's some links to Amazon and PayPal over there. should also be Amazon links down in the bottom if I uh, remember to put them down there. I have cool things like coffee cups and mouse pads and t-shirts and stuff like that at shop.switchtolinux.com that will redirect you over to Spreadshirt. Uh, and that way you can pick up things over there and they fulfill and ship and uh, direct everything. And of course I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. Oh boy, let's see. VMware player is the way to go. Commercial, however, they have good 3D support. Okay, learn Linux that way too. Good old fashioned. The cat just whapped me in the tail, in the face with the tail. Best cat in Linux content around. All right, thank you. Thank you guys, Q1 Fiend and Eric. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. So thanks for watching. Let's see, we had a peak total of 83 peak concurrent, 108 hours in view, 327 playbacks, and at least one downvote from that guy who just said, I'm just some old stupid guy who just clicks stuff. He's new. But, you know, that's okay. We can have fun with that too. Um, come on. I want to see the like dislike ratio on this. Yeah, my official take, um, I'd probably steer clear of Ubuntu budgie. Um, it does seem to, um, it does seem to uh, uh, have more issues than I would like there to be with it. Okay, where are you, Mr. Final Thing? It says 51 watching right now. That looks pretty accurate. Yeah, my official take. Uh, okay, 23 likes. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, guys, have yourself a good evening. Um, tomorrow I'll be doing definitely one video. I might do one on Ubuntu. I may or may not do a live here. I should be back to my live streaming on the Christian channel tomorrow. I think I'm actually going to talk about the issues surrounding this Austin bomber and some of the kind of disturbing things I see in the media surrounding that um, on the Christian channel because it's an interesting concept. Uh, so that's tomorrow at uh, 9 Eastern uh, p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern on the Christian channel, Our Walk in Christ. You can grab the link for that on the homepage of this channel. Um, so that's where that's at. Um, I might do my Ubuntu budgie. I'm also probably, I might do it tonight, might do it tomorrow. I'm going to do just a very short tutorial video. Just a quick Linux tip on how to install, uh, manually installing an application system-wide. I think that that's something that uh, a lot of people would like to know how to do. So we're going to try and do uh, that sometime as well soon. So thanks for watching. Um, enjoy, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.